Hey, it's hot grease. That's where we're coming from. This is where we're going. Well, here we go. We're going into the 100 mile wilderness. Two days of rest, too much food, lots of good people, lots of good conversation. It's been a great two days. So let's uh, come with me. Let's finish this thing. Hey, it's hot grease. There's a trail. We got a little side trail right here down to a little swampy, mo moldy thing. We're hoping for a moose, but let me slip down in here and see what we can see. There's a canoe here. Such a beautiful little spot. Uh, we're clouded in, so uh, the sun would show more if we had some sun, but it's okay. It's still a beautiful little pond back in the woods, maybe three quarters of a mile. I see no sign of a moose, but that's okay. It's the start of the 100 mile wilderness. I can't believe we've done it. Let's see what the next seven days is going to be like. Good morning, everybody. It's hot grease. Do I look well rested and well fed? I am. Uh, I got a caffeine rush and an adrenaline rush. And uh, man, am I so happy to be back on trail after two days off. It's, uh, it feels good. I've done my last resupply. We have everything we need. We got a food drop from Iceman coming in three and a half days. We have plans and and, and secondary plans and and uh, we still can't tell our spouses or our significant people in our family what day we're going to summit but when we figure that out we'll try to get it out um this morning poet poet and hippie chick are the owners of shaw's poet brought us out to the trailhead and dropped us off this morning and he's such a wealth of information he did a little tour guide thing of what we need to expect in the 100 mile wilderness. And of course his perspective is that he's done it more than one time and he is very knowledgeable and talks about the things that we need to know. Bad water sources and, and the, better, the better lean tunes to, to go to and, and how tough the hike really is in the 100 mile. So, and his last thing he said, I'm just a phone call away. So there's some reassurance there um, if you're getting ready to come north or you are coming north or even a southbounder that hasn't made it to Shaw's yet, you got to stay there. Clean, organized, not expensive, um, lots of food in the area. And of course, they're famous for their breakfast in the morning. And not only that, hippie chicken and poet and the seven other employees that they have there. Can you believe that? That's right, nine people running the place. That's why it's just they got a system. And um, the AT Lodge in Millinocket is run by Hickby Chick's parents. So I'm sure they got lessons and they saw what needed to be done. They've been there seven years. I can't, uh, it's awesome, you gotta stop. If you're, if you're, even if you're not a through hiker and you need a place to stay and you want to hike the area, it's not a bad place. They got uh, private rooms and they got the bunkhouse and they got the resupply is pretty good. Their equipment, you know, that they have on hand is all on spot. If you need something, they got something that will work. And, uh, Three, pla three places to eat in town, all very good. A little expensive, but that's what you can expect when you're in small town Maine. So that's Shaw's, and here we are. In the roots. And also, Monson is known for its slate, for slate roofing. And 
one of the advice and one of the tips that Poet gave is that black slate when wet is uh, like, like ice. So he's right. And as a roofer, I've dealt with slate before. It can get very slick. So again, we have to pay attention. Yeah, I'm in the home stretch. We don't want nothing going wrong, right? I'm probably taking my face out of the picture too much and just showing you my chin. But that's me watching the trail and not watching the camera. Believe it or not, I don't know, I think it's seven or eight videos I uploaded in Monson at Shaw's. It took me two days. Uh, it feels good to know that I have them out and that I probably am not gonna get any more out until I'm done, but gives you plenty to watch in the meantime. And I looked at all the comments before I left. I'm sure there'll be more when I get back with reception. And uh, again, the hearts means I read it. And when time is available to me, which is not that much farther out, I will sit down and I will answer each and every one of you. And again, thanks so much. And last but not least, because he's going to meet us in three and a half days, Ice Iceman. He's been nominated by more than one of my subscribers as, you know, Trail Angel of the Year. And I, I need to second that. He's an amazing man. And yeah, I harp on him a lot, but wow. So we'll probably talk about him one more time in three and a half days. And then, uh, who knows? I can't wait. My highlight is... My hope is good weather. I want to see Katahdin from a distance. And uh, we'll see what happens. All right, everybody. See you up trail. Hey, it's hot grease. It's the first lean tune on trail in the 100 mile wilderness. That tells you a little about where we were going. We've done three miles. There's a shelter right there that we are gonna walk by today. We gotta find the white blaze out of here. Looks like rerun's taking a break. So I guess I'll join him. Still looking for the white blaze. I see the blue blaze, which is not the right way. Must be right up through there someplace. I see that's where the arrows are pointing. So that's where we're headed when we leave the lean-to. I see a white blaze right up there. So we're good now. All right. The sun is trying to poke through. It's a wonderful day. Here's hot grease coming from there. That's double zero. Look what we found. A beautiful little main pond out in the middle of no man's land with a rock island. It's something pretty small, but it is still special. Okay, we're heading there. Everyone is hot too. I'm off trail about 110. And check this out. I know you can hear it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Just wonderful. And then the sun comes out and looks. One of the many things that you see on trail. Alright, we gotta go make some noise, but this is absolutely beautiful.
hot grease. That's where I came from. We got our first little view off a small climb of a beaver pond that we just went by. We had uh, crossed that dam down there on the left. It's a pretty little spot right here. I can imagine what this looks like in the fall, which is not that far away. And we got a few mountains, they're not very big. That's what we're dealing with right now. It's beautiful. And in the distance, more clouds. Pretty spot. All right, we're headed up trail. Hey, everybody, that's where I came from. I'm in some sort of pine forest that is just, I don't know, smells so good. It looks so good. Trail ain't too bad, as you can see, a few roots. 